Hello and welcome. My name is Eustace and I'm the developer of the RPG Engine. In this video I will show you how to set up a new campaign, build maps, and then invite your friends to play those maps together. I'll be adding chapter timestamps in the description. As a game master, the first thing you need to do is to create a new campaign. To do this, select Game Master, press the plus icon and name your new campaign. Once the new campaign has been set up, you will find yourself in a pre-made default map. Let's close these windows and use this opportunity to go through the basic controls. You can use either middle mouse click, WASD or the arrow keys to pan around the map. The right mouse button or Q and E can be used to rotate the map. The scroll wheel or plus and minus can be used to zoom in and out of the map and finally, page up and page down can be used to control the vertical motion. If you ever get lost or stuck, the F key can be used to focus on either the world or, if an object is selected, focus on that object. F4 hides or shows the UI. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the controls. They are the same for both the game master and the players. In the top left corner of the screen, you will find the control bar. Each button represents and controls different aspects of the game. More information on each can be found by hovering over the icons with your mouse. We'll be covering all of these throughout the course of the video, but for now, let's create our very own map. To do this, open up the map menu through the server controls by pressing these icons. Select the plus symbol to open up the new map creator window. Here you will find the option to create a new map from scratch or choose from a variety of maps and templates. To use a template, simply select one, give it a name or use the existing name and hit create map. In this case, however, we want to create our own map from scratch. Return to the previous menu and select blank map. As well as giving your map a name, when starting from scratch, you can also define the maximum size of your terrain. There is a rough size guide to help you choose your scale, but really you can do any size you like. Let's hit Create Map. Close the map controller and we're ready to begin. The main components used in the map creation process are located in the Build menu. Let's start off with the Terrain Editor. In this mode, you can freely sculpt the terrain. You can add mass with left click. To change the sculpting direction, either press this toggle or hold the ALT key. The sliders on the terrain window will affect the scale and strength of your brush. Should you want to color the world, simply enable the paint mode, either in combination with sculpting or individually. The paint color can be altered by selecting the color field. Now let's switch over to the Prop Master. Here you will find just over two and a half thousand different assets grouped into tabs. There is a search bar located at the top to help you locate items. There is an occasional bug where items won't appear in the tabs. If this happens, simply scroll to fix the issue. To place an item in the world, select it by clicking on its image and click on the world to place the object down. To further manipulate placed items, either drag the object to a new location or click the object to open the locator. While the locator is enabled, it has three modes. Move, Scale, and Rotate, which can be accessed through keys 2, 3, and 4. These controls can also be found at the bottom, or, if you've changed your layout, the top of the prop menu. The size of the locator can be altered using the open and close square brackets. The locator can be used for more accurate control when manipulating objects. To disable the locator, simply drag the object or click off the object. To delete a prop, simply drag it off the edge of the map, select it and press the delete key on your keyboard, or alternatively drag it into the bin. There is also a newly added custom token. After spawning, you can select any PNG to use as your token. This will automatically save it for future use in the tab system. Lastly, to save your created maps, either use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl S 
or the corresponding icon on the map controller. Again, there are some utility inputs to help speed up the map creation process. You can copy any item by pressing Ctrl-C. You can paste it by using Ctrl-V. While placing, hold the Alt key to drop a duplicate of the item you are holding. The F key can be used to focus on the currently selected item or the map if no item is selected. Ctrl-Z to undo and Ctrl-Y to redo. Advanced placement options can be found in the Prop Settings window. Snap to Floor will snap the held prop to the terrain, ignoring other obstacles. Multiplace keeps a copy of the item you place in your hand. Again, this can also be done by holding the Alt key. The Perpendicular options align the rotation of the prop to match the targeted surface. Uniform Scale can be used to define an exact scale of an object. Uniform Random Scale and Random Rotation can all be used in combination with Multiplace to speed up the creation of dense environments. Once we have the basic scene set up, we can create some ambience using the Atmosphere system. These provide a variety of controls as follow. World Rotation, where is north? Time of day? Sun strength, sun colour, shadow colour, sky settings, and map wide mist. All these settings, as well as sculpting and prop placing, update in real time for anyone who's currently on the server. I also recently added the ability to paint Fog of War. To show or hide the entire map from your players, you can use these buttons. The slider at the top adjusts the visibility when manually painting Fog of War. Although you can see the outline of the shapes in this mode, to the players the world is pitch black. Let's drop in some characters for players to control, and let's also equip some weapons onto them. Before inviting other players, it is a good idea to check all areas you want players to explore are accessible by the characters. Give it a final save and you're ready for friends to join. For players to join the campaign, they simply need to press your name in their lobby or join through the Steam menu. Players do not need to buy the full version of the game in order to join lobbies. However, should you want to join the lobby as someone who owns the full game, the host will need to launch the game in demo mode by opting into the demo branch through Steam. There is a more detailed guide on this in the link in the description. Players can be relocated to different maps using the drop-down menu. Should a player already be on a given map, this icon will appear next to their name. Please note, the larger the map, the longer it will take a player to receive the data and appear on that map. At this stage, we have a map and our players have joined. To allow them to interact with the world and each other, characters can be assigned to individual or multiple players using the Entity Controller. Select an entity you wish to assign and toggle control for the desired player. The final thing we will look at to bring everything to life is the play state. This state is the primary state your players will be in. When in this mode, entities a player has control over can be moved to animate to show interactions and combat. There are also some props such as doors and chests that can be assigned and interacted with. Please be aware that moving parts of the object cannot be selected. Additional in-game social options can be found in the social menu. Should you wish to pause a session for another time, simply save the map and close the game. Please note this will kick all players from your server and close it. I hope this is enough to get you started creating maps and setting up scenarios. A download link is in the description. For any questions, comments, ideas and help, please join the Discord. I hope you have a wonderful day, take care, and I look forward to seeing the amazing designs you will come up with.